in Tokyo uh, for the games to just be canceled altogether. And that seems to be gaining some, you know, certainly if there's growing, um, you know, growing concern amongst the Japanese and, and specifically Tokyo citizens, then you know, they their voice is just as important and they need to be listened to. So, um, you know, we'll see what happens over the next few months. But uh, I think there's absolutely no 100 percent certainty that the games will will still go ahead. Uh, I wasn't able to go and see my physiotherapist or go to um, go to the gym I normally go to, but was able to rig up a, a makeshift gym in in my one bedroom apartment living room. At least in my opinion, the Olympics should exist um, to build up communities. And you know, if if this massive sporting event is happening in Tokyo and the people of Tokyo are having to pay for it, and um, and they're not, and they they aren't able to enjoy it. Um, then I don't think that can be an Olympics, or I don't think it can be an Olympics that we're proud of. Everyone can come and enjoy it. Um, that was one of the things that was hardest for me with the move from Tokyo to Sapporo was that you've taken five events now away from the citizens of Tokyo to come and enjoy. You know, if, if that happens, which it looks like a very realistic possibility. Um, I think we have to be very honest with, um, you know, with what the legacy will be and, and, and really use that as a wake up call to, uh, to question what we want the Olympics to look like in the future, I think.